All right, guys. I just got done watching one of the most satisfying football games of the year as a Dallas Cowboys fan. And I was thinking about making a video, but I didn't get around to it. But I did a live stream of my favorite game on the PC, Dead by Daylight. Uh, short stream, 42 minutes long, before the game kicked off. And I had uh, a couple people in my stream, one of my uh, subscribers basically said they are a Saints fan right here. Uh, on the way home to watch this game as soon as he's finished. Uh, he says it should be a good game. It's in Dallas, so I think it's going to be close. So he called it correct there that it would be close. But for the past few days, guys, uh, I know weeks ago I made a video saying that I thought the Saints were going to destroy Dallas. But the way the Cowboys played the last couple of games, they beat the Eagles, they beat the Redskins on Thanksgiving. I really had a feeling that the Cowboys would play at least a close game. And depending on how things bounced, uh, the Cowboys might upset the Saints. In that live stream, uh, which I did three hours ago, as you can see, I'm recording this video right after the game is over. Uh, but just probably, you know, a half hour before the game kicked off, you'll go and you can watch the stream and you can watch what I thought would happen in the Cowboy game. Won't be chatting much, playing your rebel again. Or can't yeah, I... I actually, I think Dallas can beat the Saints tonight, depending on how the Saints play, but if the Dallas defense plays like they have been, they can get pressure on Drew Brees. And another big key is if Dallas can get Ezekiel Elliott going, orange one, I think Dallas has a chance to, uh, to upset the Saints tonight. Oh, son of a goat. A lot of people don't think the Cowboys are going to have a chance, but I think the Cowboys might have a... I think the Cowboys have a better chance of beating the Saints than a lot of the teams the Saints have played. He went oh right for you, Zax. Can I get a freaking skill check? And there you go, guys. You heard me call it right there where I said I thought the Cowboys could upset the Saints. And I've really been, you know, I'd been thinking for a few days. I kind of had a feeling that I didn't know exactly how it was going to happen. I knew the keys were going to be getting pressure on Drew Brees, the defense playing well. And, you know, getting that running game going for the Cowboys. Obviously, now seeing the game, there were a lot of penalties that weren't called that should have been called. But also a couple of huge penalties uh, on the Cowboys. Uh, Randall Gregory running into the kicker on that punt uh, after they had stopped them was huge. Like, that was such a costly penalty. But then there was another huge penalty on the Saints on the pass interference. Uh, they gave the Cowboys on third down. They gave the Cowboys a first down and a goal at the one-yard line at the very end of the game. And uh, actually, that was on second down. That was on second eight because uh, the Cowboys threw that pass because uh, the Saints had called a timeout with 2.03 left to try to, you know, get, the, get more time left uh, when they had the ball. But... There were some costly penalties. I don't know what some of these players were thinking uh, at those moments, especially Randall Gregory. Uh, I didn't exactly agree with the Randall Gregory penalty that gave the Saints a new life when he was in, you know, in the neutral zone or whatever. I didn't think that should have been called. But then again, there was another penalty right after that, uh, where uh, where we hit uh, hit their running back Kamara uh, with a helmet, and that was uh, on. Uh, Smith so you know that was a, a penalty that should have been called unnecessary roughness that penalty if it had been called would have given the Saints a new life and prevented them from having to punt themselves so you know there was a lot of calls that should have been called that weren't called on both sides but the way it worked out Dallas still you know they still impressed and I think they shocked a lot of people so now it makes me wonder guys I've, I've been here I've seen this before I mean, this is deja vu feelings of the Cowboys back in the early 90s, you know, after they got Aikman and after they got Smith and, uh, you know, they had, they turned a season around when they, everybody thought they were going to lose. They ended up turning it around uh, up about the same point in the season and making the playoffs. So I'm getting that deja vu feeling. I'm not saying the Cowboys are going to go, you know, very far in the playoffs, but it certainly looked like the Cowboys can not only make the playoffs now after their win against the Saints, but with the way they played the Saints, it looks like the Cowboys could, you know, could beat. They have the ability to beat any team in the NFL uh, if they play as well as they did tonight and maybe clean up some of those, you know, penalties, those costly penalties that they made tonight. And Dak Prescott definitely needs to do a better job of holding on to that ball. 
Uh, two fumbles. We're lucky we won with Dak Prescott fumbling the ball twice like he did tonight. But this game and the way it went, it does make me think that we're going to start seeing some of these Cowboy fans, you know, these uh, uh, Cowboy fans that aren't really Cowboy fans start coming out of the dark. You know, these people that are always going with the hot team, the you know, up and coming team. And they, you know, they come out and claim that they've been a Cowboys fan all their life. And, uh, you know, they change their team every year, every couple of years or whatever. And uh, they just, they're like sheep, you know, bat, And, you know, they seem to make the most noise, but uh, they aren't there during all the bad seasons when the Cowboys are going, you know, six and 10 and having losing records and being the laughing stock of the NFL at times. Uh, they never make a noise during those times, but it's when the Cowboys start winning that they start making the most noise. Anyway, I just wanted to go ahead and let you guys know I am one happy Cowboys fan uh, tonight with the Cowboys victory over the Saints. And how about them Cowboys, you know? How about them Cowboys? Uh, to all the Dak haters out there who have been hating on Dak, he made a couple of mistakes tonight, but he definitely played with the kind of passion that you want to see for the Cowboys nothing bigger than that scramble for a first down on third and 10 when he gained 11 and he broke like three tackles to get it so i mean you cannot knock dak prescott in his passion and his desire to win and that's why i think dak has that it factor you want in a quarterback and that's why i think dak's also going to get a big contract and be the cowboys quarterback for many years to come and i hope it happens because i think he is the man so I want to know what you guys think. However, be sure you comment down below. Let me know. And we'll see you in a future video, everybody. See you soon.